Oh, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring. We'll take you along, take you along, take you along to some other places. We try towards the other horizon, maybe to spend a couple hundred till we. I have been here for about two and a half months and I can thoroughly say that I still have so much more of the city to explore. Fall foliage and greenery that is available in the city is just my absolute favorite part. I'm, <laughs> I am a lover of grandma nature walks and this city makes it so easy. This is some footage from my sunrise hike up Arthur's seat over the weekend. I got up really early on Sunday morning and just went up the side. Come and see the world in a different light and capture So this Monday I was determined to get some work done. I have three consecutive research papers due in three weeks and as of right now, I have officially two completed. For me, I get my best work done if I break up some of my writing. So this morning I cleaned up my room so I could focus and I actually got up um, this morning at six because I find I do my best work really early in the morning. So by 9 a.m. I was ready for a break so I popped down to the dining hall for some breakfast. We'll be all right for two or three days but after Conversations have died out. I'll play the music from the beginning. This past weekend was a holiday in the UK called Guy Fawkes Night. I am not going to try to explain the significance, but I will link its history down below. So I actually went to a bonfire night down at Portobello Beach. It was a really cool experience and there was basically like a big bonfire every 15 feet and people were like lighting fireworks off at random. And it's completely legal to do this here, which I thought was really funny and uh, super cool. And people were just, you know, almost doing like their own little firework displays. And it was the closest that I've ever seen fireworks. So I recommend you check this out at night if you are ever in the UK. For the rest of this day, I basically just wrote my paper and then attended a weightlifting class at the gym, which I'm still paying the price for this in a real way. I genuinely couldn't lift like a single finger yesterday without making like an exasperated noise. I'm going back tomorrow. Send your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else gets this way, but after a super intense workout, I'm just like always in the best mood, just like dancing and skipping. Um, here I am listening to Mariah Carey, you know, and an excellent, an excellent choice. So later that night, I did some work for my literature class, which I'm really loving right now because we're doing plays and it's like just my favorite homework is always just watching plays. I don't know why, like usually you need to read a play, but I always just watch it with the script open and it's just like one of the luxuries of being an English minor and I, I love it. So Tuesday started off wonderfully. I found a ladybug, which is good luck. And I popped on my white pants because there was absolutely no chance of rain today. And um, it didn't rain because that actually sounded like it was gonna be ironic, but it in fact was not. Um, so yeah. Um, was just good. <laughs> so I had a group meeting on campus today, so I walked through the meadows, which is just uh, such a treat on a fall day. And I had my meeting inside the library bar, which is probably one of the coolest study spaces on campus. Um, the inside is just so pretty, and they have these like barcodes where you can just like order like a coffee like right to the table, um, and it's just a really cool place. After that, I, weighed my, I made my way to my tutorial, which is made up of about 10 people and it meets every week. And it's in the most beautiful building and has this insane view. It's honestly one of the highlights of my week that I get to be in this room. I am, I'm on I'm really just, I always whip out my camera like an idiot before class, um, but what are you gonna do? to Starbucks because I was just in a really Christmassy mood and I had to focus on getting some work done so I got myself a caramel brulee latte but they called it like a toffee latte here but it's, it's the same thing. The sun is now setting at 411 which has been very interesting to experience.
on my way back, I finally went to this little used bookstore that I've been passing quite often called Tills, and it's right by the meadows. And I spent at least a half an hour in there just browsing. I was listening to Christmas music and just, I was just having the nicest time. <laughs> Elizabeth Strout book called My Name is Lucy Barton. It was one of the staff recommendations, which I always appreciate those in a bookstore um, of that like scale and variety because you can definitely get lost like trying to find a book when it's just like time periods it's, like, and authors you don't know and, and all that stuff. Then my mom texted me about Kelly Clarkson's new Christmas album and so I was just jamming out until um, I had to go to dinner. Always worried if my room looks clean. So it's really weird to think about, but I am actually going to be heading home for the holidays in like almost like three weeks, three and a half weeks, um, which just like goes to show you how fast this experience goes. Um, I think a lot of American students, like they only do this for like one semester. That's really just like sort of the common thing. And you know, I was like kind of nervous about going for the whole entire year. It was like one of those things like I wasn't nervous about until like I got here and then I was like, oh, was that, was that the best decision? I, I don't know, but like now that I'm actually like nearing the end of my semester, like I'm feeling so good about this decision. Like I feel like there's like so much more for me to do and experience and it should be really exciting to be able to figure that out through the rest of this year. I do have to say I am very much looking forward to having like a little bit of a break from like halls <laughs> just in general um i've actually had like a very decent experience living here like i actually i have little to no complaints um besides like just dining hall food like sometimes gets a little a little old but yeah i i definitely miss the perks of like living in an apartment <laughs> Uh, but Christmas is coming up tomorrow. I'm actually doing like a fun Christmas thing that I hopefully will get some footage of. And um, then I have like one sort of like final like trip coming up um, before the end of my time here in like the Christmas season. But yeah, I'm so excited. Oh my God. And then I, mm, I would have to stay up until like four in the morning, but <laughs> Taylor Swift's new album comes out tonight and then the new uh, 10 minute all too well. <laughs> I am not all too well. Anyway, that's what I'll be doing at four in the morning.